Johanna. Johanna. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a journal collection video. So in today's video I'm not going to be going into a whole heap of depth and flip throughs into each journal because there's just way too many. But I'm also just going to show you each journal, um, like the cover, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I've used them. I'm going to talk a little bit how I've used each one. And it's more so just going to be showing you the collection as a whole rather than each individual book. So I didn't really think I had enough, had enough journals to do a collection video, but I actually do have quite a few, so let's just get straight into it. So the first journal that I have here is one of the earlier journals that I made for myself. So I made the cover, I made the insides, I bound it all together myself. And I use this journal the way that I use my junk journals now, so very, very similar. This was a very creative visual type of journal or junk journal, so, so I would really just stick things into the pages and it was really quite a visual book. I did used to have a flip through of this journal on my channel but I did end up having to take it down because it would share a little bit too much personal information in this journal but but I could do another flip through of this journal if you guys would like um, yeah it's just got things sort of papers and things that I liked at the time and some photos and some writing so it's quite similar to the style that I generally now actually Next, I'm going to show you this journal. So this is another one that I made for myself. I do have a couple of process videos of this journal on my channel. So me actually working in this journal. Um, and again, this is the same sort of thing. So lots of visual papery things stuck in here. There's like some old wrapping paper. And there's also some writing and some photos and stuff like that. Like I said, I do have a couple of videos sharing this journal on my channel if you would like to see sort of more of that one. And now from here on out the journals that I'm showing you aren't really in particular order of like when I've used them. Those two were around the same time but the rest of them are just going to be all over the place because there's just, I just don't even know <laughs> when I started which book and finished each book. This is a journal I've also shared on my channel before so I've shared a flip through of this journal after I made it. So this was made with a pillow slip and some card and I have had some questions about this journal, people wanting to see flip throughs and I'm not really, I don't know if I will share a flip through this journal because it's just um, got writing in it. So you can see a flip through of it before I started using it and it's got all of the same decorative papers in it because all I've been doing since then is writing on the pages wherever I could sort of fit some, some writing so I think this journal is not quite finished there's still some room to add in here but it's probably at least halfway finished and so this is this is like a really sort of personal writing journal where I just write <laughs> with a pen and nothing else next I have this little traveler's notebook style journal and this is actually a pocket page journal from the stamp spot, so I'll link her shop down below. But it's basically a traveler's notebook that has clear pockets. Um, it goes paper, clear pocket, paper, clear pocket. So it alternates. And I used this as like a collage book mostly. Um, it's got just like a mishmash of things and you guys will see in all of my journals I'm really quite visual I always like to have things to look at and I like to collect things that I like to look at and bits and pieces of paper from my day to day life so this was very much so a collage type of a journal and I do have a flip through of this journal on my channel as well next I'm going to show this one even though it's not finished but this is a journal that I started for the loving mama class that I took um, that's Kaylee and Essie's class for mothers, kind of like a journaling class. And so I just put this book together and it's sort of just started. I've still got to finish this off. Next we have another Traveller's Notebook style journal. And again this is another pocket page notebook. And I was using this for my pregnancy journal when I was pregnant with my daughter Rue. So um, this one's finished I believe or almost finished and I just put like 
bump photos and ultrasound photos and just journaled throughout the pregnancy in this book. Again, it's quite visual as well. So there is that one. The next journal I have here is one that I didn't make. So this is one that I bought at a market, I believe, and I just use this to write down cute things that my kids say. So it's just like direct little quotes of funny and cute things that they say, and I just write it in, and I'm quite messy when I write, so it's nothing pretty. It's just literally to document all their cute little quotes. So I'm going to include this one in the collection video as well. This is a reckless journal. I've obviously altered the front because it wanted me to turn it into a shoe, um, so that's what I did. I will do a flip through of this book when I've finished it, but I haven't finished it, so um, I've, I've, I've done probably a quarter of the pages, so I do need to finish that and then I will do a flip through. The next journal I have is another one that I made, so you can see this one on my channel as well. Um, I have a flip through of the completed book and I also have some process videos working in the journal. So this one's quite fat and I've used it the same as I used all the other junk journals. Just very visual book with photos and writing and just like a catch all um, for papers from my day to day life that I just like to sort of collage in. So another really visual journal and again you can see a flip through of this on my channel if you like to. Next I have my Halloween journal so you guys saw this in Halloween last Halloween and I put this together last Halloween so that I could just use it sort of every year um, at Halloween and just put our photos in here. So I did go back and I called up on the previous years and just stuck in the photos of like the costumes that my kids wore and then I did do a process video from last Halloween and I do have a video on that so if you'd like to go and check it out it was a couple of pages long so I plan on using this book every Halloween um, as my children grow up so now we need to open up this cupboard to pull out more journals the next journal that I'm going to show you is an art journal and again I do have videos on this on my channel so if you'd like to see um, a flip through of it completed and some process videos, I do have those on my channel. This book, I think, is starting to actually come apart a little bit, but I made this journal so that I could try art journaling, um, like proper art journaling, and I really enjoyed it actually, it was really fun. And so if you would like to see that series, you can find it on my channel as well. <laughs> But just to give you a little flip through, some of the pages are a little bit crusty and sticky, but I did a lot of collage and sort of painting, a little bit of drawing and a little bit of journaling. And yeah, so that is the art journal. Next, I'm going to show you some Christmas journals and I'm just going to show you all at once. These smaller Christmas journals are Traveller's Notebook style. You can see they got super, super fat. But I used these like December daily books, which is basically where you journal every day of December um, and the Christmas season. So I've done that the last couple of years and I really like doing it in the notebook style. Um, if you do want to see more of these journals, I do have process videos and flip throughs on my channel as well. Because I'm not going to go into too much depth in this video, but it's really fun to sort of make the Christmas season, to make the most of the Christmas season and to make it last that little bit longer. So I've got those three. And then I also have another Christmas journal. So this was the first Christmas journal that I made um, a couple of years ago now. And it's a huge one and I planned on using this journal every year just like with the Halloween journal. And I have done it for each year but the last two years I think I just sort of chucked extra pieces of stuff in here and not actually glued them down so I need to go back in and actually stick things down onto the pages but each year I sort of just stick in our Santa photos and any extra wrapping paper and Christmas cards and stuff like that and it's just like a catch-all for the extra Christmas ephemera that we have for our whole family 
and also as the kids grow older they're welcome to sort of like write in here and draw in here and stick things in here as well next i have another junk journal style journal and this is another one that i've shared on my channel before so you can see flip through and you can see process videos and this journal is made by my friend marge and i had so much fun filling this up and i used it exactly the same way as the other junk journals that i already showed you so very visual and a little bit of journaling just like a capsule it just holds anything and everything that i want and um, allows me to do creative type spreads when I feel like it. So next I have two more Travels Notebook style journals and these are both finished as well and um, this is when I just first started getting into the Travels Notebook thing which I think I'm kind of over that phase but it was fun. Um, so yeah again visual and I use this the same way I use my junk journal so um, sticking things in and doing a bit of um, writing and sticking photos and stuff like that and in the end I didn't really like I think I didn't stick to Traveller's Notebooks because of the size I just felt like it was a bit limiting I really prefer to use a bigger journal but yeah so there's that one so that was volume one and then this was volume two so again same sort of thing just carried on into the next notebook when the first one was finished and I do have videos on my channel um, sharing these journals as well if you'd like to see so there's that one um, this one isn't really a journal so I don't know if you want to see it but I've shared this on my channel as well it's a mini album and I just made this for my son's birthday I'm not really going to show you that because it's more of an album than a journal but if you want to see it I do have a video on my channel Next we have this really big junk journal that I made for myself and again similar to the other ones. Um, I really loved working this journal, I think it's one of my favourites. It did get really really bulky towards the end but this was just um, totally my style, all the papers in it, everything that I put into it, all of the bits and pieces of my life that went into it. I just love flipping through this book. So I have heaps of process videos on my channel sharing this journal and me using this journal and I also have a flip through of it before and after I used it so finished and unfinished. This one's another mini album type of a journal or book so I'm not really gonna go into too much detail with this one but I've just stuck photos in here and I do have a flip through again of this book on my channel. Another book, this one was sort of like a glue book journal where I was just collecting um, any type of ephemera that was related to my kids. So, so to be honest, I haven't used this book for a long time, but um, I did get quite a few things stuck in here. So there's like birthday cards and um, drawings and sort of paint chip samples from painting their furniture and packaging and things from their birthday parties and stuff like that so that's that was the purpose of this journal this one was our wedding guest book so not really a journal or like an ongoing journal but um, this is another one that I made and I do have videos of it as well on my channel and this was our little sign book for our wedding and then after the wedding I did go through and stick all of our little photos in here um, and I think I just stuck mostly all black and white photos in here just so that it would look a little bit more vintage. So wedding guest book. And then these two journals are really fat journals that I did for my boys. So what I did was kept Traveller's Notebook inserts for my boys the last couple of years. And then after I think three inserts, three chunky inserts each, I bound them into one cover and I have a flip through video of these journals on my channel and I also have a tutorial on how I created the cover and um, yeah so how I made these journal covers if you'd like to try and make them they're pretty easy to do so yeah those two and then the last couple of used journals that I have are ones that I'm using at the moment 
So this one I'm using for writing. This one was made by Michelle at the Paper Addiction. I bought it from her Etsy shop. Um, she's on YouTube and I'm just using this for writing. Um, so not really a visual book, just pen and paper. Um, I'm trying to write more, so that was kind of the purpose. And then the last one I'm going to show you is my current junk journal. I have a flip through of this unfinished on my channel. I'm still using this journal, so I will have process videos coming using the journal. I've already got a couple, at least one or two on my channel, um, and there'll be more to come, and then there'll be a flip through when it's finished. But um, I haven't really been journaling much recently, unfortunately. I haven't really had much time. We've all been sick. But this journal has some really pretty papers in it, and so far I'm really loving using this book. So, um, really big junk journal. So other than that, I do have probably some other random notebooks and like traveler's notebooks and stuff like that laying around maybe some composition notebooks things that have random notes in them but those were the ones that i had like all together to show you guys so i do have quite a collection i didn't really think i had a collection to share but it actually is getting to the point now where i have to find more space to store my journals as i make more and, and as i start more um and for those of you who are wondering where i store my journals I store them on a shelf, so I've got a little cupboard here full of books. They're stuffed in there as tightly as I can get them. And then I also keep some of them in a drawer. In addition to these journals, I also use planners and I also keep, I don't know if you can see, um, Project Life albums. So, so I have a Project Life album for each of my kids' first year, like baby books, and then I'm going to have one to keep all of my kids artworks throughout their school years as well so that's it guys that's my journal collection if you have any questions about my journals or about anything you can leave them down below in the comments i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you're all doing really really well and i'll see you in my next video bye